Well, the White House continues to struggle to get its fairy tale straight on the death of Bin Laden. The Navy SEAL who claims he killed the Al-Qaeda mastermind has given an interview with Esquire magazine. Goes by the name of The Shooter. And he claims that Osama Bin Laden used his wife as a human shield. Here's the quote. He was holding his wife Amal in front of him as a shield. And though the shooter could see exactly what was going on through night vision goggles, Bin Laden was in total darkness and could not hear and could hear but not see. So he's claiming that Bin Laden used his wife as a human shield right before he shot him. He describes his brain spilling out as he watched him take his last breath. But there's a little problem with that story because the day after the death of Bin Laden was announced, the White House came out and said that he didn't use his wife as a human shield. This is out of Reuters. A woman killed during the US raid of Osama Bin Laden's compound in Pakistan was not his wife and was not used as a human shield by the Al-Qaeda leader before his death. A US official said Monday, correcting an earlier description. So not only was this woman, according to the White House, not his wife, but he didn't use her as a human shield. So this Navy SEAL, the shooter, or whoever he is, just some invented individual, has contradicted the fairy tale once again. It's like they don't even care anymore about getting their ridiculous, childlike fairy tale script in order. They just change it from one month to the next. Of course, Infowars reported back in May 2011, 10 facts that prove the Bin Laden fable is a contrived hoax. And there's just a plethora of information here. It's all hyperlinked. Basically, every geopolitical anal analyst, every expert said Bin Laden was likely dead for years. Most of the tapes, the audio tapes, the video tapes they kept putting out of him were completely fake, put out by the Pentagon-affiliated Intel Center and its affiliates. That was all proven to be a complete hoax. Again, we had this whole dumping the body in the sea bullshit. They claimed that was a hallmark of the Islamic faith, the Islamic burial ritual. Within basically a day, that turned out to be complete bullshit. The Situation Room photos, of course, at first they claimed the Bin Laden assassination was watched live by Obama and Hillary Clinton. That later was proven to be a complete hoax. There was no live feed of the raid. Then you had the neighbours that were interviewed in the area, which was a staging ground for the Pakistani military. Just ridiculous that Bin Laden could have been hidden there. They knew the people who lived in the house. The neighbours said they had never seen Bin Laden. And some actually said that the man claiming... Uh, that the US was claiming was Bin Laden was actually a completely different person who was just a resident of the town. And then, of course, you've got the clear history of the US military staging operations for the consumption of the public. The Jessica Lynch fable was completely contrived, as was the so-called heroic death of Pat Tillman, who it later turned out was actually probably murdered, whether deliberately or via friendly fire, by the US military itself. So they're still struggling to get their bullshit fairy tale straight. This so called Navy SEAL says that uh, Bin Laden used his wife as a human shield. But the very day after the operation, back in May 2011, the White House said that this was incorrect. I mean, could you please, please get your bullshit fairy tale straight? We're trying to sell an intervention in Syria, we're going to try and sell an, a war on Iran. And we're trying to sell a Hollywood blockbuster. Please get your bullshit Bin Laden story straight. I really appreciate it. It's Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.